All right, you guys, so by now, you guys should know that setting up a two color, three color, four color, it's all the same thing. Today I'm super excited because back here, one of these, five of these rotating screens, it's a job that's been sitting for about three straight weeks now. Finally got approved this morning. So I'm gonna show you guys what I did and what mesh I burned the screens to make it work all wet on wet. And I think this is gonna help you if you guys are doing something similar. The reason why this worked is because we printed it on white t-shirts and the colors just kind of all come together to form the image. So let me show you guys how I did it, what screens I used and the sequence that it goes in to make this happen. If you guys have been watching the channel for a minute, you'll know that I like to warm things up. So let's plug in that flash and warm it up. All right, you guys, so the flash is hot. Our boards are warm, so they're nice and hot. I apply some adhesive because we don't want the shirt moving around after we're doing that print, flash, print, flash, print, flash, print. And now that they're nice and warm, this thing is burnt. Um, I put the tan because this is the problematic color on a 160, we want some of that to gain over the sequence and the rest of them are all on 180s because the half tones are just too small. So like I said, this has been sitting for about three weeks and now we're gonna print on a Pellon sheet to make sure that everything's still lined up and everything looks good. And I'm gonna show you guys how simple it is to print wet on wet, cool. All right, you guys, so that is the print right there. Now, there is one reason why this customer took such a long time to approve this order. The first time this was sent, it was sent just like you see it now, and they didn't like it because you can't see the E, V, and the three that's in there. <clears throat> so what they did is they added another screen to make that black. So we have it right here. We're gonna line it up. And with my favorite squeegee, we're gonna print that last color, which is already a black. We could have included it in the black screen, but I didn't wanna burn another black screen with everything together, so I just added this one since I was already burning other screens. And I felt like it was very simple to just add that little bit, which was the EV3, and that was that. So we're gonna line that up, make sure everything else looks good, which, yeah, I would say it does. And we're gonna get to printing. All right, so I moved the boards away from the flash so that I don't burn that white t-shirt. But there it is, you guys, the final product. 